Good morning, beautiful people. Good morning. It's a very snowy morning here. And so, you know, I'm grateful for the snow. I'm grateful for strength this morning. I'm grateful that I can talk this morning. I am grateful that I can feel the cold even this morning. And so this morning, this morning video is about us not rushing the process. Oh, my list don't just come in. It's about us not rushing the process. I talked about, you know, us trusting the process, but I also want to talk about us not rushing the process this morning. Let me say this as a disclaimer. There is no shortcut to success. Let me say that again. There is no shortcut to success. And we cannot buy our way, we cannot buy our way to succeed in life. Everything that we achieve, it should be genuine and it should come from a place where we are conscious of what's going on and work towards getting those things done you see when you rush the process right when you rush and try to outdo or overdo you know whatever you're doing it causes you to become overwhelmed and i am a testament of that i always share that when we rush and stuff like that it causes us to become overwhelmed and I actually experienced that at first hand. So when I'm here talking, I'm not just here spitting words because I'm good with encouragement or I'm good with articulating facts or whatever. I'm here sharing because I care about my well-being and I also care about the well-being of others. And that's the reason why when I talk, I talk from a place of love and pure genuineness. You see, people in life think that sometimes you can't just cut out some of the things that you're going through, cut out some of the experiences and become successful. One thing I know some people try to cut out is uh, the aspect of even getting their license. Did you know that majority of the people that you see having a car right now, some of them didn't even pass the test? Some of them just pay money to somebody because they're like, we can't bother with this process and we need to get this license. And some of them have their license. Yeah, they may be driving fine, but oftentimes, majority of the time when you see all these accidents happening, most of them people, they never get the license at first hand. They buy their way to become successful. And, and so, I just want to say to us this morning, not to rush the process. The process, it's there to build us. It's there to make us a better person. How can we become a better person if we rush the thing that's there to elevate us and to make us become successful? How can we rush the thing that's there to help us to become successful? That for me there is this loyalty, this honesty, everything that you can think of that's all wrong. Right? The process is there to build us. Sometimes you see some people who are so honest on their journey of becoming successful. They're so honest on their journey of doing the right thing. And then oftentimes when they buck up on some people in their life that tell them, no man, you can't do it this way and you will get it quicker. God don't want us to do it quick. You think he wants us to do it quick? If he had wanted us to do it quick, he would have created the world in one day. He has the power to. He has the ability to. 
If he had wants us to do it quick, he would assure us that, yeah, look, my daughter, my son, you can't do it this way, man. You don't have to go that long road. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. And narrow is the way that leads to life eternal. Let me say that again. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. And narrow is the way that leads to life eternal. You cannot rush the process. You have to stay put. Because if you try to rush it, you become so overwhelmed. You become so tired, discombobulated, all, you name it. You realize that the thing that you're trying to run after, you're running after it in so much ease. Slow and steady wins the race. Be patient with yourself. You don't need to be all up trying to get this, trying to get the quick fix. The quick fix doesn't work at all. The quick fix doesn't work at all. Some people journey, it may seem like, yeah, they have it all figured out and, you know, boom, 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 one, two, three, they get it done and that's it. And then other people, it takes longer. It takes longer. For me, example, I've been, I've been trying to get my life before God knows when. Every time I go, I practice in the practice everything seems all right and then when i go to the test all i'm hearing is sorry you do not meet ministry standards but i know that one day but i know that one day i will be able to get that license at the right and appropriate time i'm not going to go out there and rush the process because i think that yeah i am so and so age and it's right time now for me to get this license hey the boss is not leaving me i am fine taking it and that's very good that's all right for me right now the bus is not leaving me and that's all right that's all i need i just want to make sure that i have a reliable transportation and the bus is always reliable it runs right around the clock so let me say this again there is no shortcut to success there is no shortcut to success at all you realize that in order for you to get a good paying job you have to go to university for four years sometimes three years depending on the length of your program and you'll have to stick it out because if you don't stick it out you won't get that degree or you won't get that diploma and if you don't stick it out you won't get that that you won't get that high paying job that you need and so the process cannot be rushed because if you rush the process you will not get to grow you will not get to grow and develop the way that God wants you to grow and develop. You understand what I'm saying? And so we have to take it one step at a time in order to achieve what God wants us to achieve. What God wants us to accomplish. We have the help of our Father. We have the help of our Lord and Savior every step of the way. We have the help of God, man. And so we have to lean on it. As my favorite scripture says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. But in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall make your path straight. He shall direct your path in some translation. He will help you along the path. And so you have to trust him. There is no shortcut to success. There is no shortcut, none whatsoever. Many people think that it's okay to do the shortcut. As a little child growing up, every time when my mother or, you know, so send me gar shop, and every time I try to take a shortcut, something always happened. Either me bought my big toe, or something always happened in that shortcut. So then you realize that there is no shortcut to success you understand if I had taken the long road which is to walk on the road I would have reached all right but because I chose to go through the shortcut 
my hit up my foot my cut my toe my cut my foot something happened and so you realize that when you take the shortcuts sometimes it take you longer to get to the destination sometimes it take you longer to get to that victory sometimes it take you longer to get to the thing that you want and so brethren be patient man one of the fruit of the spirit is patience be patient and so when you are patient now you realize that you will be able to get that which you want and and god will help you along the journey so take this as a learning opportunity if you're in some group or something and you realize that hey this is a shortcut to success man and you know what it's me rather stay the long way me rather stay from the long way and hold it out because i know that one day i will get to the top one day i will get to the top don't rush the process just continue to stick it out and trust god in the midst because he is always there with you he will help you to accomplish that great great victory amen God, I thank you this morning for this word that you have dropped on my heart. I pray that we'll learn, mighty God, to wait upon you and to know that there is no shortcut to success. And so, Lord, I pray that you just continue to be with us in everything that we do. In the name I pray, amen. Have a blessed one. I gotta run.